Here we go. I watched, so we we're going to make a video. All right, and so I typed a bunch of questions, and literally I, I'll speak to the camera, I talk, I, I saw it on the internet the other day, and it was awful. Absolutely awful. Did you guys watch it? Did you want to watch that video? I'm watch not going, I don't want to say who video it is, because I don't want to start some. Part of it. You watched part of it. That's exactly what I did. I watched part of it. I literally turned it on. I watched it for maybe five minutes. And then I like did that thing where you just pull it and you scroll to the end. You, know? you did? What video were you watching? I, yeah, pull it. <laughs> I pulled it to the end. <laughs> pull it to the end. to the end of it. It was terrible. So my point was, the whole reason I wanted to do this he was, was waiting the, for the good shot. Because I was like, yeah, money shots. All you. We're all waiting for the money shots. So. Anyhow, so all I did was I waited, I skipped to the end, and uh, I was not impressed. So all I wanted to do was prove to people that you could literally sit in a room and talk, and it'd be more interesting than that. So there, here we are, doing that. Well, no, so far we're going great. <laughs> so far nailing it. We've already got to the money shot. So here we go. <laughs> we're not, we're not skip it. That's the best part. You don't even have to skip to the end. The best part's over. <laughs> <laughs> Next. Next. Okay, so introductions. Okay. I'm Nick. I'm Logan. BTL. Robbie. Joseph. Joseph. All right, fine. Good enough. Now, since this will probably be primarily on NC 4x4, which you're welcome, uh, what's your screen name? Mine's McCracken. Logan Wayne. Why is it Logan Wayne? Because somebody already had Logan Lake, or had Langford. I was like, I'm going to put my first and last name on there. So is Wayne your middle name? Yes. So if people find out your last, so if they figure out your last name, they're halfway to stealing your identity, right? I mean, fuck, half the guys on NC4 before find me on Facebook already because of you, so. You're welcome. Good enough. What's your? Oh, it's Captain America. <laughs> Are you serious? No, yeah, it is. It is. <laughs> it is. I'm not doing it. Uh, okay. It Good is KAP10 America. America. Really? Yeah. No shit, I thought it was something else. It was for a long time, I changed it. Oh, okay. What was the old year? I don't remember. I think it was Ricky Bobby at one point. <laughs> was it? There was one point it was Ricky Bobby. I I just, maybe that's the one I remember. Uh, What's just, yours? Uh, Shaggy. That you can't spell with two Gs? No. Nope. Okay. It has one G. Three eights. Three eights and a three. Yeah, three eights and a three. So it's Shaggy eight 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 three. Exactly. Thanks for spelling that out for the illiterate people like yourself. <laughs> Some ah. slow it down a little bit. <laughs> All right. Next question. How long have you been four with him? I don't know. Four years? Five years? Five years. Oh my God. This explains a lot. Go ahead. First, <laughs> the first time. Probably eight years. Ten years. But he's not been in a wheeling rig. Not there like, yet, Logan. Don't jump ahead. Yeah. Slow down. Slow down. Pump the brakes. What's yours? Fifteen. Fifteen. Fifteen years. Oh shit. Yeah. How long? Was it? I don't know how long. I went. Uh, you know, believe it or not, in high school. Um, I don't know if y'all ever got to do this or not. You remember Hurricane Creek? Well, you know where Hurricane Creek's at, right? Yes. Okay. Well, anyways, if you go down to Hurricane Creek, there used to be. Years and years and years ago, there used to be like these big old damn mud holes. I mean, big sons of bitches. And so everybody in high school would talk about how they'd like eat your Jeep and eat your truck and stuff like that. So a bunch of guys used to go down there, but uh, I was too busy doing other things at the time, and I did not go. So I didn't even get into it when I was in high school. I actually waited till I was maybe a senior or, junior, or a freshman in college. I think that's what it was. So when did I graduate? 20 years. It'd be 20 years then. So I've been wheeling 20 years. So good for me. Four, four years. Congratulations. You've, done really good. You've, done <laughs> You've learned so much in your short period of time. Hey, that's how long I've had a Cherokee. So you've not really been wheeling. No. <laughs> that's, that's why we got the crack shack. <laughs> ball, ball crawling's not wheeling. <laughs> Alright. We're going through these pretty quick. This is easy. Alright. Uh... That's what she said. That's what she said. Yeah. All right, how about this? This is an additional question. Um, let's see here. All right, here's a good one. Here's a good one. Your favorite tunes. 
If you could only pick one band to listen to the rest of your life, who would it be on the trail? Whatever that song is where well, they're talking go. about the one that you always blast when we're riding down the trail. Just play that song over <laughs> and over again. I play a lot of different bands. No, the one, you he know plays, which one I'm talking about. He plays a lot of epic tunes on the trail. Yeah. The Which one? Vagina song. <laughs> the, oh, <laughs> that's a great song. Lego <laughs> Vagina. Lego <laughs> Vagina song. <laughs> that is a fantastic yeah, just song. Yeah, over and over again if you're willing. Just I'm going to cut the video. We like them girls with functioning vaginas. Functioning vaginas. Functioning vagina vaginas. They're going to enjoy that one. Functioning vaginas. Functioning vaginas. That's it. That's it. Very good. I don't know who sings it, but it's fun to see vagina. Just play that one over again, and then the uh, the rap song about the cereal. Just play that one over and over again. That's a good one, too. Oh, yeah. That's a good one, Just too. those two on repeat, over and over. The rest of your life. Yeah, one band. Go with it. One band. Not one song, say one band. I want to know... All right, so whoever sings Functioning so, Vaginas, I'm no, listening to them the rest of my life. Logan, Logan, just go ahead and say, listen to Justin Bieber. No, definitely don't. <laughs> All right, who is it? Not nearly as epic as a vagina song. No. But uh, it. it'd probably be Bullet for My Valentine. Who? Yep. Yeah. That's right. Um. <laughs> 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 so nice <laughs> <laughs> somewhere. Oh you just break the chair? Oh wow. Oh, oh my epic. god. Epic yeah. chill. What chill. happened? Chill. Chill. Chill talk. You broke oh. my chair. Oh my god. You know why? It's because it's got these daggum. Sh Look at this. You know why? Because that's actually Logan's chair and he broke it already. Uh -huh. What happens when you got BTLs? Yeah, BTL. Big old titles. You can't, <laughs> can't support the weight. Alright, well, that sucks. Anyway, who? You? Can I say Nickelback? <laughs> <laughs> Alright. <laughs> that's this one. We're done. Since Good stuff. No, I'm going to go with ACDC. Get you some of that. Believe it or not, when I started first wheeling, I went to Teleco. And I ended up with a bunch of dudes out of Chattanooga, and that's all they listen to. All they listen to. Constantly. And so that's all I listen to. Constantly. And to this day, I'm not joking, man. It brings back good memories. So, And plus, they've got like a playlist from hell, so you can literally listen to like a thousand songs, and they're all different, sort of. So, get you some of that. All right, that was an easy one. So everybody knew that one real quick too. All right, what's your favorite place to wheel? Probably Windrock, just because there's so much trails. I mean, there's trails all over the place over there. Yeah. What's your favorite? When, when, you, when you go. Robbie doesn't get to count because he doesn't know what trails look like anymore. <laughs> well, when I was riding with Dick, uh, I would say probably Harlan. Yeah. Liked it a lot. Uh, That's the only place he's been in the last 20 years. Well, you know, you gotta go somewhere. Uh, I'd say AOP. Really? Yep. Why? Uh, there's a lot of uh, free riding. Just where you can go wherever you want. Do whatever you want. You can? Yeah. There's a whole section of it. Are you serious? the back side of the park, yeah. You free missed riding. that one, didn't you? Yeah, I did miss that one. Mm. The last time I was at AOP, I tore both upper links out of the frame. <laughs> nice. Well, I remember that. <laughs> yeah. He texted me like, hey, you can't believe the shit that I just did. Yeah, dude. It Send me pictures of those laps, and that sucks. I literally can't remember a good portion of that evening. I can't remember exactly what happened. But all I do remember is at one point my buddy stopped me, and he was just like, whoa, 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 whoa. I said, what's going on? And he was just like, your tire is literally all the way out on the side of the truck. And I'm like, I don't know what you're talking about. I leaned over and my front driver tire was stuck all the way in as far as it could go. And the other one was all the way out as far as it would go. So anyways, but being the experienced fabricator I am for 20 years of wheeling, um, I didn't exactly do what I was supposed to do. And so it tore out pretty bad. I'll put that picture in here too. So everybody can see my mistake. So, anyways, I'm gonna go with Windrock. I'll go with Windrock. I used to hate that place. I absolutely fucking hated it. It was too dusty. Had too many like ATVs, and that was before like Razors came around. And I hated that place because it was full of those little bastards running around all over the place, kicking up dust. You don't know where you're going. There wasn't really a good map. You literally 
had no idea. Telco's my favorite, but it's dead, so that's where I, I cut my teeth. But you know where else where I liked when we went? Was that a uh, Durhamtown Telco? No, nah, dude, that place sucked. Well, okay then. It was it was epic in his Cherokee though. It was. It actually was. I can they had to like it. jerk me up a bunch of stuff because. Like there was a mud hill and it was just straight mud. And can you talk about Nick jerking you off again? Through <laughs> <laughs> <Pretty> mud. Ali. <laughs> <laughs> I'm done. <laughs> and it's been. No. Cut to the credits. <clears throat> Roll. Roll credits. Roll credit. Nickel back in the background. There you go. go. <laughs> and it's a rat. So. No, I can't remember that place so well. How many times did we go? Once? Twice? Three times? I went three times. I think you went twice before they shut it down. <laughs> it wasn't much, man. There's that Wait, guy in the was... Samurai, and he was talking some mad <laughs> shit to us on the trailer. Said Do you he know was... that guy lives down there on, like, Old Asheville Highway? Yeah. He lives in one of those, like, flea market shacks. Yeah, well, oh, he, wow. he yeah, rolled he up in this little Samurai and was talking some mad shit about how he was going to outwill all of us, and by the time we got off the trailer, he was flopped in the parking lot. Yeah, I do remember that. Sure enough. No, it was when we got ready to leave. No, he flopped in the parking lot, and then we passed him, and I said something, and you had your CV turned all the way up, and he heard you because he was right beside you, and I was like, that guy's an idiot. It's like, he must be talking to someone else. Making friends. Yeah, maybe that was that other guy in there. Making friends. Yeah, like the samurai. Yeah. So, well, that's easy. What's your favorite trail? Do you have one? No. Why not? Because I don't remember the names of anything. I just follow you guys around, so wherever you go is where I go. Yes, we'll always suck. <laughs> if you don't have one, you'd be like Logan and say, I follow everybody. Just yeah. say, like, I'm going to leave. I'm that a guy, I can't so. leave. I don't know. I'd say, uh, I wasn't what was that trail? We rode at Windrock. Round Rock? Railbed? That's hard. Um... Mules, what is it, Mule's Face or whatever? <laughs> was that the one that we <laughs> almost had? Oh, Mule? On? Yeah. We went, I thought it was had like something like the school bus or something. Uh, a little school bus. Yeah, a little school bus. That might have been it. That was pretty cool. Like, yeah, it was like a good trail. Like whole v notch, like most of the way is washed out. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, and his, that like, actually his turned into like, that thing used to suck ass. I mean, it was just literally, yeah. I mean, it was steep, but it was a yeah. flat road. But now because the water's got to it, it's cut it pretty bad. But at the top, it's pretty gnarly. So that was pretty fun. That's not a bad trail. Yeah. I like uh, Lions Den in Harlan. No. <laughs> don't be hanging because your shit don't fit. <laughs> I'm not going. I, I'll, you know what? That's one of those things where I've like, I can tell I've gotten old because I'm like, I'm not going in there. <laughs> I'm not doing it. You're gonna follow me in there? No, I'm not. You are. We're yeah. going. Hell no. I'm not. Then we're gonna go. Yeah, sure. I'll walk right behind you. I'll, I'll watch you do the whole damn thing. And I will heckle you nonstop until the end. Well, he'll he'll video it with his booby helmet. I'll get the booby helmet out, and we will we will watch. These people don't know about the booby helmet. You should have brought the booby. Well, they'll, they'll I actually them. thought about bringing it, but then I thought, like, well, never mind. The best part about the booby helmet is it says, "Show me your boobies," and we put it on my girlfriend, and she rode around in Harlan all weekend with it on. <laughs> people yeah, are always giving her weird she looks. She didn't wear the booby helmet because she was like. Want to video people because no, it, was, terrified. it was literally it was in the early days of GoPro before they had all these crazy mounts and shit. They used to just have like two mounts and one was like a sticker mount. And so what I did was I took an old bicycle helmet and I wrote "Show me your boobies" on it real big, and then I put a sticker on the front of it or that mount on the front of it, so I could run around on the trails and not have to sit there and hold a camera out in front of me like this. So, anyways, but she didn't wear it to video people. She wore it because she was scared of you. <laughs> That's not bad when she wore a softball helmet with a full face mask the whole weekend. Oh my god. Where was that at? The shop? No, that was at Harlan too. We went yeah. that was the next time we went to Harlan. Like yeah. the booby helmet wasn't good enough. She had to go full face mask. Did I go on that? I don't think you did. No, I don't think I did. Smitty was broke because he rode in the back seat of mine. Mm -hmm. yeah. That was like the one time I didn't break something. Yeah. Whatever. You're still not gonna try me going down in there. Alright. I'm not doing it, dude. I knew it, dude. He had a Grand wagon. no, maybe it was just a Wagoneer. He had a Wagoneer, I swear to God, I've got a picture of it. I've got a picture of him when he when he used to have side he lines then, and when he came out, he had no more sides. And that is not a joke. That is the God's honest truth. 
the sides were literally peeled off of it. And then he wheeled his. It was literally like he had the frame and he had like a floorboard and a, and a front clip, and that was all he had left. That's pretty much all you have left on yours now. Bullshit, dude. I got sides on mine. They wrapped it strapped on, but they're there. Yeah, they do this thing. Yeah, they like to get in. Yeah, basically. Well, good to go then. It's like his Jeep has tiggles. Just laughing in the back. <laughs> Going down the trail line. Yeah, it's, it's like it's got a sports bra on there. It's got, it's got, a, it's got the ratchet strap and it's pulled tight, so it looked look good. So, <laughs> pop that thing off. Pew. Listen, I'm proud I'm the only one who's still got an original vehicle. All you assholes and your buggies. I wouldn't consider Rob as a buggy. No, it's no you got mostly one. original. I think yeah. it's all original. Of different things. Who else has an original? No one else has an original. I've, I've sat and thought about that, and you're the only one I can think of that still has the original one they started with. Even Jody's no, getting uh, Charles. Charles. Charles has the original one. Like like yeah, you put that, what did he do last night? He put it on Facebook or something like yeah, that? Yeah, just broke off picture. picture. Why? I don't know. He's been putting it back together. Yeah. I don't know how far along he is, but he's he didn't even have kids. No. Why? What's that even for? I don't know, he got married. He's got a dog. How good a dog? But, uh, that's why I'm yeah. not getting anything done. You and Charles are the only two that still have the original rig you started with. Oh, yeah, dude. I actually got that back in 1990, I don't know, I'll say 99. Maybe 98. But, yeah, I'm keeping it. I'm keeping it. I'm running that thing as long as it'll run until the frame snaps on it. That could be like three weeks from now. It probably could. It probably could. <laughs> well, I had to. I had to actually drive it. So we're gonna take it next weekend. So <laughs> yeah, we'll just plate it back together. Keep it. You see, Logan's boy. Hey, nothing to worry about. All I say, hey, I'm telling you, the best thing you can do on that thing. And this is just a, a, a pro tip. Tight, tight, never bolt you got on it, man. I do. Like if I'm going on a big trip, I'll go underneath mine. I will tighten every single bolt. Check every single bolt underneath the whole thing. It makes a difference. Yeah, but it's not mine, so I don't give a fuck, so I'm just going to go. When it breaks, you'll give a fuck, because you'll have to damn fix it, jackass. <laughs> you'll have to, then we'll have to drag that heavy bitch out of the woods. Yeah, exactly, exactly. You don't want to do that. I'm going to tell you that right now. No. I drug an early Bronco one time through Teleco. Bad move. It, the old rigs are heavy rigs. Even though, what, I weighed mine. It was 50... It was a lot less than I thought. Yeah, no shit. It wasn't 56. even 6,000 6, pounds. I think it was 5,600. Something like that. Whatever. It wasn't as much as I thought. Did, that just, did that just sound like... Somebody, I swear it sounded like somebody was talking outside that door. It's probably your mailman. He's probably got a $20 bill. <laughs> 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 yeah, you're like, you see a $20 bill coming through the door. It does like a little secret knock. Hey, $20, $20. Hey, you're doing 20 bucks for 20 bucks. Or you just got a so anyhow, somehow we need to fill people in on that one. Logan got a got a what did you get? What, what was it again? Koozie. I'll go get it just oh, to show it off. Do you have a koozie? Yeah, I got it. Awesome. Excellent. That's great. Oh, what is it? What's his address? Who Logan? Yeah, Logan's address. What is it? Isn't it like seventy Lee Street? Yeah. Fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody send off shit. Yeah. <laughs> Nick put this koozie in the truck. I didn't do that. Yeah. Yeah. No he I says didn't. it's not him, but it's Nick. He's the mailman. He says it's not. I'm not gay, but $20 is $20. Have you been using it? Yeah. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> He's been earning his $20. So, evidently, his mailman has uh, now taken a real liking to Logan. So, anytime you drive by Logan's house and the mailman stop for an extended period of time, you'll know what's up. He's, he's, he's delivering a package. <laughs> <laughs> he's delivering an extra package. An extra package. He I says it's a heavy load. <laughs> 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 oh, <laughs> Anyways, no one asked me. Uh, what was the uh, favorite trail? trail? I, I don't have one. I'll say... I'll take that back. I'll say, um, mm, I don't have one. It's literally a series of trails. I like Windrock. I didn't, I hated the damn place, but now that I've learned it, I like it a lot. 
because you can literally string, what was it, 10 or 15 trails together in a row, like just back to back to back to back, and you can make a hell of a loop now. So always start at trail 15. With a triangle of death. Yeah, and do the triangle of death at rail trail. And I'll have to tell that story sometime too. <laughs> so, but anyhow, <clears throat> what was our next question, Logan? I don't know. All right. You may have new questions. <laughs> yeah, so. All right. Uh, let's see here. What's your favorite wheel food, DTL? Well, since the only thing we ever eat when we go wheeling is bacon and eggs for breakfast and pork chops for dinner, I guess we're going to go with pork chops. That's your favorite wheeling food? Yeah. Like you're on the trail and you're stashing a pork chop in your hand. I mean, I've done it before when we're in Ireland. Up under your tittles? <laughs> Just like lift one up, pull it out. <laughs> Gotta keep them warm. <laughs> Is it just normal pork chops or is it barbecue pork chops? That's got to get messy up under there. It's sticky. It can't be any worse than the can of like pork and beans that Nick found under his manifold like they were four or five years older. Oh, Tell me I'm wrong. That, like, that, that, that was great. That was going to be my favorite trail food. It's it's anything cooked on Nick's manifold with his jeans. Absolutely. Hands down. But I don't want to eat pork and beans that are five years old. I don't care. You don't know they're five years yeah. old. I looked at the expiration date. Bullshit. Cause like burn off. With it, when it's <laughs> when it's like five degrees outside and everybody's eating these cold ham sandwiches and stuff, me and Nick's over there eating steaming uh, pork and beans <laughs> out of a can. Thank you for the clarification. <laughs> over there eating steaming. <laughs> Steaming hot, 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 saucy, hot. steamy <laughs> pork and beans. He really likes the bean and sausages. Mm, yeah. It's just get them warm. <laughs> but no shit. My buddy, when we were at Telico one time, he had evidently gone and cooked ribs or something like that. And he had an old, uh, I say old, I can say old now because it is old, 87, 88 Bronco or something like that. Dude had a full rack of ribs wrapped up in tin foil, and he slid it onto the manifold, <laughs> like, you know, kicked it down in there, rode half a day. Of course, everybody's breaking out their peanut butter and jelly sandwich or ham sandwich or whatever, and the dude just <laughs> slides a full rack of ribs off the manifold. Jeez. Jeez. <laughs> <laughs> he said all the neck asses and telecom were just like, <laughs> <laughs> Like what the hell? So like, I'm not joking. There's an R to it, and there was a dude. Stuff. There was a dude on Pirate one time. I'm out. There was a dude on Pirate one time that was making burrito makers or burrito warmers or some shit like that. And he's a friend of mine on Facebook now. But the dude made like stainless. They look like little stainless pills that were cut in half, and they would like crack open. You could lay a burrito in there and close it, and it would heat it as you drove down the trail. There's also another dude that's uh, from uh, East Tennessee Four Wheel Drive. He's the guy. He's one of the guys that's uh, a member of the Triangle of Death. Back oh there. yeah. Yeah. So, <laughs> anyways, he had a, he took a pot and wrapped a, a, like copper coil all the way around the sun bitch. and then it's it's got like a lid that clamps down or whatever, and he like smashed tin full all over it, and they put water in it, and they throw hot dogs in it. I shit you not. And he closes it up, and by lunchtime, he's serving chili and hot dogs out of his, out of his the hood of his Jeep. No like shit. Like a pressure cooker. It was. That's what nice. it was. He just ride, you just ride around in that copper, like he just Run circulates the. Uh, dude, you got room. That's the best part about old trucks. You got room to work on, and you got room to cram things in there like uh, burrito cookers and <laughs> hot dog cookers. And rib cookers. Forget a bucket with a coyote motor. We're going for the food. That 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 brings up a whole nother thing. Too. I was actually going to bring that up, but I don't know. I may save it for next time. But <laughs> anyways, if you got a manifold, you got a hot cooked meal, man. That's all there is to it. I've eaten chicken and dumplings. I've eaten pork and beans. I've eaten beef stew. You name it, dude. It doesn't get hot enough like cans. <laughs> No, it doesn't. That's good. It literally, like, what? what's your engine temperature? 200? Yeah. Whatever. Mine runs hot because mine's old. And you always forget to turn your fan on. 
Yeah, but yeah, he keeps turning paint on. Whatever. 360. Yeah, yeah, something like that. So and your radiator's packed full of mud, so yeah, that too. Yeah, so so that helps heat it up quicker. But no, no shit, it will not. It doesn't explode. I don't use. A, I've never used a can can. I've always used a uh, microwave. Like okay. I always get a microwave meal and okay. slide in there. I got you. It works. I was thinking like just a. I don't know. I've never tried. I bet Let's you get a can of Campbell's and try it out next Saturday. I'm sure somebody knows some how much. Some weenies and the squirt sharks pouring out. You know you got a problem. Yeah. Got <laughs> <Check> the squirts. <laughs> My uncle, I think he's my uncle. No, he's better than middle fire. Whatever. He was in Desert Storm, and they were in these tents, right? And so they were all cooking their food, and so evidently some dumb shit was over there, and he had like a pot of water or something, and he had a can of bean weenies or some shit, but he stuck it in the in the pot with the water, you know, but it was only about half full, and the damn thing exploded on him when he was heating it up, and of course at the time that was back when uh, this is way before y'all's time. It's like Saddam Hussein had all the mustard gas. They talk about mustard gas and shit like that, but it, it blew up and it like stung them. Man, everybody thought it was mustard gas, and they were all freaking out or whatever. It's like no, you dumbass. So, anyways, come to find out, you have to submerge your can in water if you want to explode. That was my next random. So I know a little bit about birds and cooking beans in water. So, anyways, you're welcome. Uh, so do that. It's good. Quit eating fucking sandwiches are terrible. Or pork chops. And pork chops on your tits. So. <laughs> Tit pork chops. Tit chops. Tit chops. <laughs> Till chops. Till chops. Delicious. Nipple chops. Sounds All like right. a Ric Flair move. <laughs> <laughs> Hit him with a tittle chop! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I can just hear Jay Arms yelling it. <laughs> Woo! Alright. Alright, I got two more questions and then we're gonna introduce your hunk of shit. Oh we're man. We're gonna show people around your crack shack. Your shack here. The shack's outside. No, no, it's in here too, man. Mm-hmm. Well, there's, a, there's a beaver pelt. That's yeah. uh yeah, that's cool. Alright, anyways. Uh, not the good beaver, just the one. Not the good kind right there. Damn it. Oh here it is. There it is, there it is, there it is. Okay. Here it is, there it is. Hey, come on, wait, hey, whoop, wait. wait. What was your favorite modification and why? Getting rid of the Cherokee. Because I destroyed that thing every time we went. Well, that's not a modification. Yes, it is. It's not I'm, a call, I'm calling one. You're going to deal with it. That's what I'm going with. What is the best thing you did to that pile? Besides getting rid of it. You had to have done something to it. Probably putting chrome all the actual shafts in it. Okay. Good enough. Then the carrier just came right I think that probably my favorite modification I did to yours is draw a dick on it. That was probably the best thing I did. <laughs> That's all that's required. Is that not as good as hanging the dick off the back bumper of it all the way back to my Harlem? Oh, <laughs> oh, 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 I forgot about that one. Never mind. And had, right, we had a state trooper cool. follow us for miles. I'm not good. videos yeah. of the dick just yeah, yeah, flopping yeah. in the wind as we were driving down the interstate. We were all wore out. I literally hung over wore out. And so we we somehow had procured a dick and it had a big suction cup. I know how you and Jody were talking about it and went and bought one off Amazon. Maybe. <laughs> so... At the end, it wouldn't stick because at one point we were throwing it up against windows trying to get it. It never would. So, but you had a D-ring on the back of your Jeep. So, literally, the suction cup fit through the D-ring and it hung in there. So, he's got this dick hanging off the back of his bumper and he didn't know it. We left Harlem, but I don't know where we were. We were, we were coming back somewhere. And so, anyhow, so we were I'm, at least an hour and a half out of Harlem before the cops saw us. Yeah, yeah probably so. So we're pulled out, and then you, you're in, right in here behind me. And as we're driving up this grade or whatever, all of a sudden I look over and I see a trooper just hanging out, just waiting on people. It was, was right uh, near Tazewell. Huh? It was right near Tazewell. Is that where it was? Yeah. Okay. Where you made the turn of Tazewell. Okay. Well, we pull out, or we're, we're doing it, and he pulls out behind us, and I'm like, oh, no. Now, nobody knows this, but y'all know this, but I don't run a trailer tag. I haven't for years. And I'm li I don't run a weighted tag, and I don't run a trailer tag. You got a watermelon tag. That's not even like a real tag anymore. I got rid of the watermelon tag, so kiss my ass. I actually kept it though. I'm gonna put it, I'm gonna put it on the jeep. Um, but anyways, so you know, I'm figuring I'm busted or whatever. Well, he pulls out, and he pulls out by Logan, and he literally rides on his bumper about like this far, and I'm just watching him out of the side mirror, and I was like, we're getting ready to get busted, and shit, and so. <laughs> The dude just sits there for like miles, so miles, <laughs> like fifteen minutes. Like 
back in eternity, and all of us just staring at it like. And then finally he was like, you son of a bitch. And then, then he just hammers it past us and pulls off. And I was like, so. At this point, I still didn't know how to dig on my yeah, back. No, 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 he had no idea. idea. He had no idea. So those are the best. So Surprise dicks. Surprise dicks. Surprise dicks. Surprise dicks. Surprise coming. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, Robin, what's yours? Uh, so far, it's been, I don't know, I, I was thinking about that question, and I was like, well, I kind of have two, but they kind of work in tandem. Like, I put fuel injection on it, so the grade, or steep off camber is not a big deal, and I just put a roll cage. So, having those two things, I feel, greatly made my give a fuck meter go down. <laughs> now I can just... <laughs> Now I can just like send that's it. The, that's the technical term for that, right? Yeah, right, 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 right when you're God almighty. <laughs> you're breaking it even worse now. What are oh, you doing? You wouldn't buy this shit from Walmart. It was from the Dollar Journal. Give me a break. Oh, 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 pray for DG. Okay, gotcha. That's another. DG, pray for it. Pray for DG. The G D R D G. Oh my God. This thing's terrible. Dude, it was $3. And it should. You overpaid. You overpaid. <laughs> you overpaid by two dollars. Too much. Oh yeah, this thing's gonna break any minute. All right, Joseph, what's your? You had like eight hundred trucks. So yeah. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna say when you when you put ORIs on your Jeep, that's probably my favorite modification. <laughs> <laughs> so I think it's not really my favorite modification. <laughs> yeah. Hey, but it hurts because he hasn't had a rig in like ten years. So I had to ride on your piece of shit yeah. for forever. So. Okay, I can buy that. Uh, I'm like going to also say the ORIs are, ORIs are pretty nice. They are Especially nice. when we were hung over after uh, the weekend in Harlem. Yes. It was like floating on a little cloud. Another fun story, when I was turning 16, you only had to pick a, pick a vehicle that you wanted. And uh, the vehicle I picked was, no, actually I picked a Bronco too, which is a total pile of shit. <laughs> it was a total pile of shit. But you know what? I told my I'll dad. i say that Dustin Wills one. I told my dad. I have less respect for you. For I was shut up. Man. I wanted an automatic. And you know what reason I wanted an automatic? I'm not joking. This is the God's honest truth. I picked an automatic because I thought if I'm hungover, I don't want to shift gears. Of course I just my, thinking that. I told like, my dad, I was like, I want an automatic. I don't want to stick. He's just like, really? I'm like, yeah, I just want an automatic. It'd be great, you know? And it worked. It was a good choice at that age. So anyways. My favorite, I'm going to go with my tires. The most expensive modification to my vehicle. And I thought about that the other day. The ORIs were cheaper? Yeah. I got them for $2,000. All four of them for $2,000. I paid $2,500 for those tires. That is the most That is the most I've ever paid for anything on my truck. Ever. Including the vehicle. Yeah, including the vehicle. $300. I paid, uh, <laughs> I'm not joking. I paid $300 for it. So I got $300 in the Jeep. At one point, I remember, like, back in the day, I didn't know anything, so I bought a Skyjacker lift, and it was, like, $750, and I about shit myself, because um, I didn't have a job at the time, so it was... That's a responsible thing to do. It was, $750, $750. I didn't have a kid, I didn't have a dog, actually, I didn't have a dog, um, but whatever. So, but literally, over the years, if I calculate, like, all my, like, what's your biggest purchase, biggest purchase, $2,500, and I took a loan out of the bank for that, just so you know. My wife was pissed. So <laughs> I he, wouldn't imagine why. You're probably smart ass to when he did it. No, I didn't. I just didn't tell him. And uh <laughs> Same difference. Whatever. Hey, look what I got. Hey. She goes, What are you doing this weekend? I was like, I'm going to Alabama. She's like, Why are you going to Alabama? I was like, I'm gonna go buy a set of tires. She's like, Where'd you get money to buy tires? I was like, Don't worry about that. She's just like, What do you mean? I was like, I just went to the bank and got the money. She's like, We don't have that money. I'm like, I I had some. And she's like, how did you get that? And I was like, I took a loan out. Ooh. Hey. <laughs> Not the best moves, I'll just tell you. So, anyways, $20 set of sticky tires. Best purchase I ever made. Still All right, well, that's it. That's, that was the question and answer. These, these assholes literally sat around in a, in a square. And um, but we're in a J, so we're better. <sighs> I'll throw in, I'll do my best to throw in some clips. I hope the audio is worth a damn. It probably not because it's a GoPro. Um, yeah. All right, so uh, here we are in Logan's shop, checking things out. Uh, this is the Crack Shack. So 
Matt's shack or whatever. Half of it. Half of it. Um, what you'll see over here is um, uh, right here's the, the GoPro we used, which probably has terrible um, whatever sound. And then there's all this other shit. If your shop looks like this, that means you actually wheel. Um, and there's R2-D2. And then there's, uh, what is that? Your shitty truss that you bought with your dick link there. Do you see this? Your link looks like a dick. Have you seen this? Oh my God, it knew it too. Look, right here. Look, look, look. It's not, like the link's up high. Like there, that, that looks just like a dick, dude. Like the dude didn't even center it. Look at this. Terrible. All right, so what so we're going to anyway. do is we're going to talk about his Jeep, see his project, see what the hell he's working on. So, here's his little mess shack. This little mess shack. Where'd you get it from? Harbor Freight? Yep. How much was it? Like $95. That's actually not bad. And it's actually held up pretty good. Yeah, I mean, with the wind, it's... Oh. It came apart right there. The wind blew it apart last night, apparently. Well, that's... The, I was getting ready to say, man. The real test is going to be come March. Where it's, uh... Where is it? In like a lion, out like a lamb? Something like that. Whatever. Learned it in school. So... It, like it, it did, actually. Actually, believe it or not. So... You wanted the other. So we're going to walk in here. We're going to look at this thing. So this is Logan's. This thing throws the light off bad. So, all right, Logan, I want you to take it away because it's your pile. So tell me all about it. It's got a Dodge 60 with 48 gears and a lock right. Uh, it's going to be four-leg front and rear with a 5.3. Turbo 350 with a two or three 300 doubler. Yeah, let's not get too wordy. All right. <laughs> Excellent. So what engine do you have? A 5.3. It's a 5.3. Where'd you get it out of? Myrtle Beach. Myrtle Beach? <laughs> came out of the Myrtle Beach model. Sweet. <laughs> I don't know what it came out of. It was just laying in some guy's yard when we went and picked it up. Yikes. All right, well. 200 bucks, we'll run it. 200 bucks, but it has no harness or any accessories. I got the accessories are in there. Oh, do you really? Yeah. Okay, well, good for you. All right, so you're going to be running a what? A double-ended ram? Up underneath? You've actually done a better job on yours than I did on mine. Well, you know. ah. So, anyhow, so that's your, your double-ended steering. PSC. Good for you. So what are you going to do as far as the uh, power steering goes? Like pump-wise? Probably stock LS pump for now. You're going to run a stock LS pump. Alright. I guess that works. I don't know if it works. We're just going to try it. You're going to figure it out? That's cheap. It's cheap and it works. It's cheap, we don't know if it works. All right, so is that one of your link mounts down there? This one? Yeah. Yes. Did you weld that in there? Maybe. Oh. Well, you remember that little episode we were talking about <laughs> earlier in there? <laughs> that little event I told you about down at AOP? Well, it might happen again. It absolutely will happen again. So, what I did is what you ought to do. You ought to, you, the top there. No, you should. Well, you could probably do that now if you wanted to. But uh, normally, what I've learned is you take your and you plate, you put, you run it's a plate. Plated all the way down. Oh, is that already plated? That's not part of the frame. No, that's not no, that's not plated right there, dude. No, it's not. Just kidding. Yeah, well, you plate it and then put your mount to it. Well, so it takes a lot of stress off your frame. I learned that the hard way. I'm just telling you. I'm not gonna pull you out. Yeah, we ready to <clears> shit, so. so there's your other top link mount, right? All right, you got your penis links down here. Looks like you got them tacked in down here on the axle. You say these are 48, 488 geared? Yeah. Fantastic. Front is. <laughs> not sure what the rear is. Well, you know, we're going to hopefully get it close. Yeah. All right, so very good. So what about, what about here in the back? Oh, God. You got a lot of work going on in here. So let's take a look at this. What's the plan on the, on the inside here? Oh my God! Did a beaver cut that out? Is that the one you shot and hung over your door? <laughs> God Almighty! It chewed right through it. That chewed right through that one. That was like that when I got it. Oh yeah, that's what they all say. All right. Yeah, that mine was too. <clears throat> so. Beavers all chewed up. <laughs> beavers all chewed up. You know, you're already batting a thousand with the misses, Logan. I'm just saying. <laughs> yeah. So, 
All right, so here's the rear excellent pinion angle. I think that's going to go uh, pretty well for you. Actually, looks great. Yeah. What's your going? What's what's your wheelbase? What are you shooting for? Like 112, 114. All right, 112 to 114. All right. Right now it's at like 126. You don't like the 126? No, if I were left wing, so they were, they're going to be like 126. Let me ask you this: Are you going to keep those drums? No. When are you going to do that? trust on this we've got the stuff to do the conversion okay when are you going to do the trust as soon as i finish the front what's taking so long i'm fat and lazy <laughs> well you you it. said it not me <laughs> so you got some bead locks and tires here for sale they're going to robbie oh they're going to robbie robbie's buying them he just doesn't know it yet. sold <laughs> these things still have the tits on them too yeah tire tittles Tire tittles. Tire tittles. That's why they like me so much. Beautiful. So what are you planning on doing? You're trying to get a set of stickies, right? Yep. All right. You're going to go 43s this summer? Huh? You're going with 43s? Yeah. All right. We'll see. So, as you can see, this is Logan's project. It's going to take a long time. Um, it has beautiful lighting. This looks you like... the excellent... No, no, nope, nope, that's the end. So, <laughs> anyhow, so you're running. What are these? Johnny joints. Mm, ballistic fab joints. Oh, uh, ballistic fab joints. But everything else is gonna be hymed. Everything else hymed. All right, if you say so. Dick All right, good, good dick links. So, high steer. All right, man. Well, that's good. It looks good. Not really. So, last thing. I want to see my signature on NC4 by 4 So, Logan will have a penis on his Jeep. If you can't see it, it's just like him. Short and stubby. So, anyhow. Looks great, Logan. Looking forward to some progress. He's done a fantastic job. All right, so, depending on, I'm sure people are going to be like, this is the stupidest shit I've ever seen in my life. But the point is, is it better than the other one I saw? Maybe. If it is, the points are improving. If it's yeah. if it's the same, then I as long as it's not worse. Worse, you go back and start wheeling. I mean, it doesn't really matter to us what they think. So. Yeah, exactly right. So, I think probably if we ever do another one of these, we may do it on the trail somewhere, or we're sitting around a campfire drinking. Maybe we should do it in the shop with Jody's truck. I thought it was. And show how it should be done. Yeah, that's probably a better idea. So, all right, there, BTL. Well, good luck. Sign Have fun. Off. Signing off. Kiss my ass. <laughs>